Hey everybody, it's Adam Baird back for part two of my tutorial on creating a squeeze page in Thesis. And today I want to run you quickly again through uh, what we did in part one. And then in part two, we're going to talk about removing all of the standard uh, Thesis header elements here as well as the Thesis uh, footer element. And then we're going to replace that with our own custom content for our squeeze page. So, with that said, uh, like I said, wanted to run through quickly what we did in part one. Uh, basically, just we got rid of the standard, uh, you know, content and sidebars that are here. We did that with a custom template. If you haven't read part one of the the uh, the article, I definitely recommend that before uh, going through part two. So, with that said, uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is custom, or actually, I'm sorry, we're gonna uh, paste these three functions into our custom functions folder directly below the squeeze function that we already have in there uh, that created our custom template. And what these are going to do is basically just remove, uh, we've got one function to remove the thesis nav menu on, and just on the, the, on the uh, squeeze page. Everywhere else will be left alone. Uh, if you have the the title and tagline, you'll just want to remove the default thesis header. If you have something, if you've already removed the default thesis header and you have something else in there, then you will want to remove that uh, for the squeeze page. And I'll show you how to do that with the function. And then finally, we're going to remove the thesis attribution. Uh, quick note on that: only do that if you have a thesis developer's license. If you don't have a thesis developer's license, I suppose you can still remove it and add it back in at the bottom of your squeeze page down here, but you will have to add this attribution back in at some point. Just quick note on that. So uh, with that said, let me show you real quick here what the functions are, what they do. First of all, we have the squeeze nav function and basically just says if we are on the squeeze page, then we will put in the squeeze nav content, which right now this is commented out, so there's nothing in there if we're on the squeeze page. Uh, and then obviously if we're on any, and it, you know, else just means if we're on any other page, then we'll show the default thesis nav menu, which is what this function right here uh, represents. And obviously we have our, our uh, remove thesis nav menu and our add, add squeeze nav in its place. Uh, the hooks, that's standard. We do the same thing with, with all three. We, we remove the, uh, the default header and replace with the custom header. Uh, and then we'll remove the default footer and replace it with a custom footer. Um, and just real quick here, same thing with the header. I mean, it's the same basic idea for all of these. What we're going to do is we are going to uh, replace on the squeeze page. So only if it's the squeeze page. We're going to replace the standard header with a banner image. Let me scroll all the way over so you can see that. And basically, I mean, I'm just, I'm going to be funny here and we're going to do something with a Rickroll. Obviously, this video is the, uh, you know, your, your standard YouTube Rickroll. Lots of fun. So, oops, there we go. Basically, we're just going to put a, a banner in there that, uh, you know, represents Rickrolling. You can put whatever banner you like in there uh, for your particular situation. And then finally, if it's the squeeze page, we're going to put a special uh, text in there in the footer and we're going to remove the thesis attribution. So what we can do is go ahead and just basically copy and paste. We'll go into custom functions in our thesis custom file editor. And like I said, uh, as you can see here, I've got the, uh, the squeeze template function already in there. And like I said, we just want to copy and paste this in below. So if we scroll back over here, you'll see those three functions. We just put those right in there. Scroll down, click the big ass save button. And then if we come back, look at that. Don't get rickrolled. <laughs> And as you can see, uh, it's off center a little bit. If you remember from part one, we uh, we centered up our content in our um, in our main template area. So we need to center the header and the footer content. We're also going to add just a little bit of style to the the footer just to uh, to mix things up and make things fun. So we go ahead and copy and paste. And again, all of this code, you can find it in the article, and it really is just as simple. Whoops, I don't want to copy and paste it into the, uh, the custom functions file. Go into CSS. Uh, 
it really is just as simple as, as copying and pasting this in. I mean, it's that's really all you're doing. And basically here, uh, we have aligned the uh, header banner to the center, and we are aligning the footer text to the center. We're also changing it, making it red. Uh, we're going to make it bold, and we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So, click the Save button. Go back to our Squeeze page. And there you go. There's our Squeeze page. All centered up, ready to go. And uh, if you don't sign up, I will Rickroll you, apparently. <laughs> All right. I uh, appreciate you guys watching the tutorial. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, just go ahead and ask in the comments. And I know this is complicated stuff, so uh, don't be afraid to, uh, to fire away with those. And I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you.